All right, so now we have the tiles animating when we add a new guest, but there's also another animation that I want to add as well, and that's when we type new letters into the current row. So when I do that, you can see that there's no animation. The letter just kind of pops into the square, and the square stays exactly the same. Now, if we take a look at the official Wordle site, we can see that whenever we type a new letter, we get this kind of bounce effect on the square, and that happens whenever a square gets filled with a letter. All right? So I'm gonna try and implement this animation now in our squares. So the first thing we're gonna do is make another keyframes animation, and I'm gonna call this one bounce. So let me just make this, keyframes bounce. And then inside here, we're just gonna have three different stages. We're gonna have the starting stage, 0%, then we're gonna have a midway point, 50%, halfway through the animation, and then an ending point at 100%. Okay, so at the start, what do I want the square to do? Well, I'm gonna say transform, and the starting point is gonna say scale, and it's gonna be at one, meaning don't change the size, it's just one, all right? The original size of the square. And then also, the starting point is gonna have a border color of DDD, which is a slightly lighter gray to begin with, okay? Now, at the midway point at 50%, I wanna take that transform, and I want to change it so that it's scale 1.2. And what that means is basically take the size of the div, the square, and times it by 1.2. So if it was 10 pixels wide, if you times that by 1.2, it becomes 12 pixels wide. And the same in the y direction as well, the height, okay? So we're scaling it by 1.2. And then we want it to come back down to the normal size at 100% because we just want it to kind of have that bounce effect where it gets bigger and then back to its original size. So we'll say transform at the end, the scale is gonna go back to one. And then also the border color is gonna transition throughout all of this and it's gonna end up at 333, which is a darker gray. So it starts off as a light gray when there's no letter inside it, it becomes a darker gray when there is a letter inside it. Now we need to apply this bounce animation to the elements for the current row. But what is the selector for those current rows? We don't have any yet for that. Well, if we go to the row, we can see right here, we have the past row. And then down here, we have the row which has a class of current, all right? Now it's not the row we want to animate, by the way. It's this div right here as a letter is filled inside it. And that has a class of filled. So what I'm going to do is come down here and I'll say row.current first of all, so that's the current row, and then inside that we want to look for a div that has a filled class because they're the things we want to animate once they've been filled. And then inside here all we have to do is specify that the animation is the bounce animation we just created, that's what it's called, bounce, all right? and that is gonna take 0.2 seconds to complete, so a very quick animation. The easing function is gonna be ease in and out, and then we'll say forwards at the end, so it remains at the last stage right here. So this is the final kind of stage of the animation, and all the properties remain as these instead of going back to the original default ones, okay? So let's save this now, cross our fingers, and hope it works. All right, so in the browser, we can see the solution is hello. Now all these have a light gray border. I'm going to put in a guess, like ninja, and you can see that animation as each letter gets filled. Watch this, it kind of bounces, it gets bigger and then goes back to its original size. And when there's a letter inside the box, you can see now it's got a darker border as well, which is nice, all right? So press enter and that animates correctly to this state. And then I can put in the correct answer. We get the same animation effect on the next line and they all go green, awesome. So that's looking a lot better now.